one and all. Back of the boat today as planned. Uh, it's a bit of a change from last week, I don't know if you can tell. It's hammering it down, so there's a nice sunshine. Um, but um, we're here for our last sort of stint to get to our chosen mooring at um, Penny Compton. So quite excited to get there. Um, once I do get there, I can start the fit out, which is a bit mind boggling. I've got so much to do, don't know which order to do it in, um, but I'm um, excited to get going nevertheless. I'm up here today with, um, with Lauren, which is well, exciting. We're gonna have a, a date night tonight, go and find somewhere nice to eat. So looking forward to that later. Um, but uh, we did come up last night, finished work fairly late um, due to being really, really busy. So we decided to come up this morning instead. Um, time is now about quarter to eight. I'm gonna load the boat up. We're gonna um, have a spot of breakfast and then get going. Like I said, we're in Napton, uh, bottom of Napton lock flight at the moment. So we're gonna start off with nine locks. Uh, but first of all, we're facing the wrong way. I had to turn it around to try and find a mooring when we came uh, last weekend. Now, I've never actually turned the boat round in a winding hole before. Now, our boat isn't particularly good in reverse, uh, unless you're going from a standstill. So it's gonna be fairly interesting trying to work out how to do that, especially as there's so many boats behind me all moored up who can be watching. So wish me luck on that. Um, put the time lapse on the front of the boat and you'll hopefully be able to see some of it. But uh, see you in a bit. What are you doing? I'm just headed off um, from that to the bottom lock. Uh, I've got to turn around at the winding hole. Like I said a moment ago, we've never done that before. In fact, never gone backwards before. It's going to be interesting. Let's see what happens. Now we don't know if we've got a funny or if we reverse or whether or not we're just not doing it properly. Yeah. We'll, see. we'll see. Guns, didn't I? Yes. That's it. Morning. We've got some friends in this look. Look, ducks come in. With all these little ones. Oh dear. I didn't put them in here, you did. You did. Just call the reinforcements. Don't worry, you guys. We're nearly at the top. We can get out. Yes. Oh, right. Time to help this little poor ducky. Scare some of these big ones away. Get away from that poor duck. Okay, done. Okay, we've done two of the nine. Just had a, a nice helpful CRT man help us with one of the locks. I don't know who he's going to help with the rest of them, but he's gone now. Um, but so uh, just giving some advice about paint. Orange up there opening the next gate. And we'll head our way in. So, we are at Napton Locks. I think lock number 11. I've just run ahead and opened the lock, waiting for his lordship uh, to bring the boat out. It appears that his lordship has left the dog behind. Start to flower now, making the boat look a little bit more presentable. <laughs> There's Daddy. Chugging along on the old platypus. Doesn't have quite the same ring as Ragdoll, but and no one wants to hear me sing anyway. I would love to see him bump. Only so I can mock him slightly as he mocks me. 
should I scratch his precious? Of course he won't, he knows I'm filming. <laughs> right, I'm walking off to the next lock. Lauren's driving for a bit now. Have to swap over. Um, there are some uh, some people who are in front of us a moment ago, so I'm hoping by the time we get to the lock, they will have been done and gone. We've got two more locks to do, and then we've got about three hours of cruising to get to our uh, Fenny Compton Marina. Um, they close at four. Um, so we've got to be there, I suppose, by half three, the absolute latest. We had to sort of sort out paperwork and get our keys and things and be shown around. So hopefully we won't run into any issues. If we don't, no problem, we'll get there easy. If we do, we'll have to work out a plan. <laughs> but Dave, he's fell in a moment ago. That got absolutely soaked, but did wash all the mud off him. So I suppose that's half a saving. So if you can see. Anyway. Almost finished the locks now, got uh, this one plus two more, so uh, we're on our way. done now um, we've got about three hours to go Lauren's making us a well deserved cup of tea took about two and a half hours actually because we got stuck behind some people uh, some newbies uh, so I helped them out they got stuck three times um, on some seals to help them with that so one of those things you know I was a newbie once um, everyone's so helpful so I try and be helpful back to other people but um, yeah get going now it should take about three hours which means we'll arrive at three o'clock we must be there by four because they close at four um, so I don't want to be there any later than three, so fingers crossed there's no more hold-ups, and uh, we'll be there soon. Okay, all of the locks are done now, um, we've got about three hours to go. Lauren's making us a well deserved cup of tea, it took about two and a half hours actually, because we got stuck behind some people, uh, some newbies, uh, so I helped them out, they got stuck three times um, on some seals to help them with that. So one of those things, you know, I was a newbie once, um, Everyone's so helpful, so I try and be helpful back to other people. But um, yeah, get going now. It should take about three hours, which means we'll arrive at three o'clock. We must be there by four, because they close at four. Um, so I don't want to be there any later than three. So fingers crossed there's no more hold-ups. And uh, we'll be there soon. Every, I don't know, every sixth 
Slip a Mile or something like that. They've, they've put out some, um, some railings here for the Google Mile nice and easy. Um, absolutely everywhere. It's out of all the canals that we've been on so far, coming down from Manchester, it's by far the Oxfordshire Canal that's the most mooring areas, which is, which is really useful, really nice. Okay, it's just gone 2 pm. Uh, we're not too far away now, but um, I guess it's gone 2 pm. It's time for a few drinks. So, nice whiskey for myself. A white wine for a lady. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> Somehow we've missed one, three, four. Don't worry, we're well, not too worried. But <laughs> we're going to be going after the Island Marina, which is called Fender Marina, it's between 136 and 137, so not too far away now. And it's one time, one time as well. Yay! exactly where we've got to go because we're not entirely sure. I don't want to turn in and have no idea where we're going. Our new marina. Got to try and get her in somehow. Our boat doesn't reverse very well. Quite nice looking. When? We're in. And I managed to reverse it into the pontoon with a tiny bit of help from Lauren pushing it out slightly but we managed to get it in. One problem though, we checked in, we got ready to come in the, into the marina, we looked where we needed to go, went to start the uh, start the engine to bring it in, nothing, look, look nothing, yet. nothing. So we've gone from Manchester to here, as we arrive here, it stops working, but I found what it is, I looked underneath, managed to find a, a broken wire, what well, goes onto the starter motor, but the actual spade terminal that's part of the starter motor has snapped completely clean off. Now there's, uh, there's probably about four mils sticking out, so I can't get the, the spade terminal on, but I can touch it on to get it started. You have to try and solder it. I can't solder, so I'm going to have to learn how to solder. Um, that hopefully will work, otherwise I might have to solder the wire directly on. Failing that, got to take the starter motor off, which is a bit of a mission. It's heavy, awkward to get to, and try and get a repair. But this is our new mooring, Fenny Marina on the Oxfordshire Canal. Really happy with it actually, nice and quiet, we've got electricity, we've got a nice toilet to evacuate ourselves, we've got a nice shower, um, we've got electricity points, there's, there's somewhere to empty our, our toilet, and it's just, they seem really friendly, so we're happy, I can start fitting out at some point, although my mind's a bit boggled as to how I'm going to start and what I'm going to do next, but we're in. Just out having some food. <laughs> I'm going back now, man. Are we ready? for some food? Yeah. My dinner's arrived. Yeah. It's bloody massive. Lawrence is there too. I finished my drink. Lauren has some drink. I managed to eat most of it. But as you can hear, we've got some lovely music. Spontaneous music by some, some gentlemen calling this guitar. How was yours? All gone? So full now. Uh, and have another drink to sort ourselves out, aren't we? Off we go to the bar to stretch your uh, stomach. Once I can get up. <laughs> <laughs> Morning. Just walking back to the boat now. Um, it's eight and a half miles. We can't ride my bike this morning. It's really, really boggy, so I'm not going to be able to get through it. Um, had a lovely date night last night, like I mentioned. Went to uh, a pub about 500 yards down from where we're now moored up, called The Wharf. Really nice traditional pub. We had a really nice dinner. Really 
good cheap. prices. Yeah, cheap as well. Uh, there was loads of locals. Uh, some of them bought some guitars down and they were singing and all sorts all night. So it was a real nice atmosphere. Uh, and we did uh, sort of have a chat with them as well. So that was really nice. Um, we are going to be back up in a couple of weeks to do a bit of fit out. So next video we'll be out fitting it out. I left it sunny. And then we're going to go out on the boat because we don't haven't had much sun. So we need to enjoy that. But um, thanks for all of our new subscribers. Thank you for everyone who's already subscribed and still watching. Really, really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, please carry on subscribing, leaving comments. We love reading them all. So again, thanks very much, guys. We'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.